Hi, I'm Barry Cleveland, and uh, I'm doing one of my favorite things now. It's uh, Sunday morning here at the 2013 NAMM show in Anaheim, California, and uh, I'm going to Hall E, which is down in the basement, aka the Mad Inventors Hall, and we're just going to walk around here and kind of see what there is. A lot of people get their start down here that then go on to be uh, better known or disappear into oblivion, so you never know. Of course, uh, not all the manufacturers down here are obscure. You do have uh, great brands, well-known brands like Breedlove and Santa Cruz guitars, but I think we're going to try to focus in on some of the wackier stuff on this little video walk. Uh, so I'm here with uh, Brian Aberg from SIB Pedals, who have uh, recently come back and started making pedals. I'm a big fan of their Echo pedal, but uh, Brian, talk just a second about uh, what you got going on. Here. Well, what we got going on, we finally we thought it was about time to bring a SIB back on board. Uh, a lot of the used prices are fetching more than uh, what they were selling for new, and demand's gotten to the point where it's uh, we got to get this going again. So we uh, teamed up with Rocket Pedals. Um, we're sharing manufacturing facilities with Rocket Pedals. They'll be doing our distribution and helping us get it all going again. And the flagship of the SIB line has always been the Very Drive and the Echo Drive. Hopefully hit the store shelves, I would say, oh, right around uh, late spring, somewhere in there. And we're not making any changes to them. They've been a tried and true pedal um, that people have always been happy with. So, you know, um, not really making any change to them, just bringing them back on board. So I'm here with uh, Ben Hines at Dwarfcraft Devices, and uh, he's going to talk about this new pedal that he's got out. It's always doing interesting stuff. Hey, everybody. Um, this is called the Pitch Grinder. Um, it's an eight-step sequenced pitch shifter. Um, the signal is uh, digitally crushed to uh, an 8-bit signal, and then that is, is shifted. Uh, each one of these knobs tunes one of the stages. It'll do uh, one octave down and two octaves up. Now if we leave it on a, on a, a one-step pattern, you can just step through the, the whole sequence manually. Also freeze the pattern while it's running. We started chipping this in October, and it's already showing up on some really great records that uh, hopefully we'll all be able to hear really soon. I'm here with uh, Theo Hardman. He's got some really cool new pedals, and uh, GP's Art Thompson is here to uh, show you what they sound like. So I'm just going to hand this over to Theo. So we've got Art going through three pedals, and uh, two of them are brand new, and one of them is relatively new. Um, I'll start with the newest two. These are fuzz that come from two different eras of tone bender. There's a Vox tone bender here. It's a three transistor germanium fuzz. Since we built this is because it covers quite a range of voices of germanium depending on where you set the tone knob so i'm going to swing it through a couple positions so you can hear the tone changes so that'll open it up and make it a little bit less woofy and compressed and then when you get tone high it really pushes the high end um, you could kind of consider it a treble booster kind of circuit so i'm going to hit nudge it up there so you can hear that It's also got a ton of gain on the output, so you can overdrive an amp even if you're not dr in driving the internal transistors that hard. You can really push the front end of the preamp quite a bit. Over here, we've got a silicon tone bender. It's based on the Color Sound Super Tone Bender, which Steve Hackett from the Peter Gabriel area of Genesis used quite a bit. Um, 
very different sounding four transistor silicon fuzz. Has some really kind of industrial tones available to it, a little bit less woody and warm than the germanium. And again, it covers quite a range on its tone control, so you can get a voice from the fuzz down here that's pretty different than the one you get up here, a lot, especially when you've given it some gain in that region. So I'm gonna do that and then sweep it through. Now. Two years ago, we started working with Mark Karen from Bob Weir and Rat Dog, playing a lot of Jerry Garcia music using an envelope filter almost all the time, and he was kind of searching among what was out there to find something that he liked. Uh, one of the features he did like was being able to mix the envelope filter with the dry signal, so we, we started with a Mutron style design and started to develop a pedal that could give it as much of the filter as we wanted, but then also back it off to clean so that digging in brought out the filter, but laying out of the string playing also clean the guitar up and let you control a little bit of how much you were hearing with your own dynamics. One of the settings I like on this is using the mix pretty sparingly, using the upside down waveform that we have set up here, and then doing kind of a chicken scratch funk where the light strokes have almost no filter and the heavy ones get a little bit of a tion. These two are available now. We're starting to ship actually this month. They've started to go out to dealers just before we got to the show. Uh, this has been out for about two years now and thanks very much. So I'm here with uh, Christos at uh, Crazy Tube Circuits and he's going to talk a little bit about a couple of new pedals, two or three new pedals, and then also a new amp that he's developed. This is our first time at NAM. We've absolutely brought some new pedals, some new stuff. This is Pinup. Uh, it's actually a year in production. Uh, it's in fuzz with Octave App. With Octave App. Now up to Stone Hertz. Some weird modulation stuff, all analog modulation, main scores, flange, phaser, and tremolo all in one. And a river pedal that can do some pretty classic stuff from room, hole, up to ambient and spacey sounds. with some drive. You were actually hearing all these pedals through Paradox. Paradox is a unique design amp, has EL84s all the way, that means even in the preamp, and phase inverter has two inputs, one 12 watt, one 18 watt. It's pretty perfect for uh, stone boxes. Through the 18 watt now mode. Well, this is from the back as 
As you can see, five EL84s, two for the power ramp, two for the preamp, one for the phase inverter. Sounds unique, doesn't sound like any other ramp in production. And it will be available around summer 2013. I'm here with uh, Giannis at uh, Jam Pedals, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about uh, one of his new pedals and, and play a few things so you can hear what it sounds like. Hello. This is the Big Chill. It's our new pedal. It's a new tremolo. Uh, it features uh, two different speeds, selectable with one foot switch. Uh, it features also three different waveforms, square, sine, and triangle, uh, and the chop effect. Uh, you can also adjust the speed with an expression pedal, and it also takes an expression pedal for the depth. This is a sine wave waveform. That's all about Big Seal. You can find the more details in the website. It's uh, jumppedals.com and it uh, will be available from fe February. <laughs>